Good Health by Claudia podcast with me, Denny Schaefer. It is a production of Denny Radio. This is episode 37, Claudia. Woo! We're very excited. Today, we're going to talk about homeopathy, and hopefully I don't butcher that. Uh, I have a lot of questions about all Good. of this, and we have a wonderful guest, Marge yes, Roberts. Do. She'll be joining us here in just a few seconds. Yes. But first, uh, the information contained in these podcasts is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or health condition. Please consult a qualified healthcare professional if you do have a medical condition. The FDA has not evaluated the information of this podcast, which represents the opinions of the hosts and our guests. All right, Claudia, homeopathy. What the heck is it? Well, it's a it's a beautiful uh, way of approaching health. And, you know, the philosophy that we're going to talk about with Marge today, it's based on the philosophy that diluted substances um, that like heals like through diluted substances. And that's what we're going to talk about. That just hurts my brain. I have no I, idea what that is. And I'm sure that well, by the end of this episode, I will be understand. well educated. Yes. You remember when Sharon had gotten to the poison ivy or whatever it was? That's my wife, Sharon. She was somewhere she wasn't supposed to be and, out in the weeds. I don't know what was going on there, but she got the poison ivy. When we used the homeopathic made from poison ivy plant. And so in diluted. Wait a minute. So you take the poison ivy plant. Yes. And that they it dilute helps. It. They dilute it. And we'll talk about the And that helps like cure poison ivy. No, it doesn't cure. No, it no, doesn't no. help. It's waking up the system to address the issue. Okay. It's waking it up. It's All a right. beautiful well, way of approaching Well, we're awake it. and we hope Marge is. Uh, <laughs> our guest is uh, Marge Roberts. She's the president and CEO of Newton Laboratories, yes. Inc., American Academy of clinical homeopathy. Marge, welcome to our podcast. Thank you. Great to be here. Yes. So Thank did we get the homeopathy this. right or would you like to expound? I would love to expound, uh, yes. but yes, she got it right. Um, it is homeopathy comes from the Greek words homeo meaning similar and pathia meaning suffering, similar suffering. <clears throat> so what causes suffering in its full form and I always use uh, poison ivy as an example myself. Yeah. Um, so the poison ivy can cause a rash. So you make the take the homeopathic or take the uh, poison ivy plant and make it into homeopathic. Give it to that person. We always say homeopathy doesn't do the healing. The body does. Right. It's right, there the body. to trigger the yes. body to start working and reaching toward balance. <clears throat> the one thing I want to elaborate on is that homeopathy isn't just diluted poison in this instance poison ivy there's two steps to making a homeopathic there's dilution and succussion succussion is a type of shaking a jarring shaking and one of the theories is that shaking that bombarding of the molecules is what releases the energy and makes it into homeopathic mm -hmm. so if you just take a tincture and dilute 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 it's just a diluted tincture it's not homeopathy. You have to dilute, succuss, dilute, succuss, dilute, succuss. Okay. And that's what makes it a homeopathic. All right. Before we get too far down the road, those that are watching, if you have any questions for our guests or for Claudia, and God forbid you got questions for me, uh, just put that in the <laughs> comment section. We'll see it and uh, we'll get to them throughout uh, throughout our broadcast. So yeah. we're very excited. It, it To me, it, it seems counterintuitive. I got poison ivy, but we're taking poison ivy to help me deal with poison ivy. It seems to me like if I put something on my skin where there's poison ivy, I would just get more poison ivy. But it doesn't work that way, does it? No, no. no. And it's because it's homeopathic poison ivy. Right. Okay. That's why you can take even poisons. I'll give you another example. Um, snake venoms. <clears throat> because homeopathy can be made, although the predominance is made from plants, it can also be made from minerals or animals. Right. So Lachesis, for instance, is um, the Bushmaster snake. We use the venom in making the homeopathic. So what happens? What systems are affected if you get bit by a poisonous snake, a rattlesnake, water moccasins, whatever? It can be the, a, a big part is the vascular system. So you will find... Um, remedies in our case complexes that deal with the vascular system whether it be hemorrhoids for instance um, varicose veins right. they will have homeopathic snake venoms in it okay 
because that's where it uh, leads to. Allium sepa is an onion. So what happens when you cut an onion? Your eyes water, okay, and burn. So you'll find allium sepa in allergy formulas, for instance. Right. Okay. So did you say did you say hemorrhoids? Because that would be a weird place to get bitten by a snake, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's using that as the example yes. because it's part of the vascular system. It's Got part it. of the vascular. Um, yes. Yeah, we had uh, a health food store person was telling me they, uh, this guy came in to the health food store and asked, what do you have for hemorrhoids? I've tried everything on the market for hemorrhoids. And so she gives them our bottle of hemorrhoids and tells them to take. He says, what do you think I am, lady? You think I'm stupid? I'm going to put something in my mouth and it's going to help my Padupi. And yeah, she Padupi. said, well, you asked what the best thing was. And so right. he took it. She said a couple of weeks later, he came in with his whole family and they were buying off the shelf the homeopathic. <laughs> right. Wow. His you whole know, family are a bunch of hemorrhoid sufferers. <laughs> That's some good DNA right there. <laughs> You're sorry. I can see why you're on radio, Danny. Yeah, we, we, we've we been off a week, so I got a lot bottled up here. Right, Claudia? <laughs> Anyway, go ahead. That's buddy. funny, but you know, it's it, when when we when we educate about homeopathy, and for those of us that have been blessed to witness the beauty of homeopathic remedies and human health over the years, it's 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 such a really I, it's such a simple way of looking at things, in my opinion, and I think it just makes sense that when you, you know, we're not homeopathy is a beautiful way of not overpowering the system of the body, but it's, it's supporting the system, whatever system you're addressing, it's supporting it, it's waking it up, it's gently waking right. it up to bring this beautiful response in helping the balance the body to balance. So uh, Marge, one of the other uh, things, uh, remedies that we use as an example, of course, is APIS, uh -huh. which is what is that? Is that the actual? Uh, oh, and I just want to say for it's a moment. It's the actual honeybee. Homeopathy is in Latin. So the terms that we're using are the actual Latin terminology, correct? Right. And we for use Latin, um, Latin names like poison ivy is Rus toxicodendron because it has to be the exact um, species and whatever. So oh, that's yeah. why they use the Latin because there's different... And even um, like the poison ivy, there's different homeopathics for the poison ivy whole plant used. Yes. And whether it's just the root. Um, same way with apis, you're talking about apis mellifica is the whole honeybee. And I forget what the name of the homeopathic is. That is just the venom from the honeybee. But that's a separate one as well. When you talk oh, about an two. egg, for instance, there's different homeopathics for different parts of the egg. Oh. <clears throat> and the homeopathic pharmacopoeia of the United States dictates what part of the plant animal is must be used in making the specific um, homeopathic remedy. And one of the things I want to point out, because you're talking about how it's, you know, gentle and works with the body, um, unlike drugs, whether they're prescription drugs or over the counter drug, they all have side effects. Yes. But because of how homeopathy is made, and it's very, very dilute, there's no known drug interactions right. and with as many people on drugs as there is, um, you know, that's a great advantage to homeopathy because sometimes I was a nurse for 30 years. That's my past life. There, there is a time for allopathic medicine. Sometimes yes. we need that. Sometimes we need it long enough to keep us alive till we change our lifestyle, quit smoking, lose weight, whatever it is we're working on. Right. I always say we're all a work in progress. Yes. Don't beat yourself up if you have to take a drug or you have to have a surgery or whatever. That's what it's there for. But I having said that, if somebody is on a medication of some sort that they need, homeopathy is not going to interact with that. And that's a great advantage and not having side effects as well. And again, it's because of how it's made and the dilution, because there's really not the botanical there, for instance, it's more on the energetic level. Yes. And, um, you know, I, I just wanted to get back to the APIS for a moment just mm -hmm. to say we have many people over the years that have learned, especially people that can get stung by a bee and end up in the hospital. We have 
customers that will carry a remedy of apis in their pocket all every day of the summer because they know if they get stung by a bee that remedy could possibly save them from a lot of misery so right. uh, again it, it's a it's a beautiful system and um we're so grateful that you've been doing it all these years and and you know denny and i talk about on our podcast there is a place for drugs the issue is knowing when when we have knowledge then we can really figure out when are drugs needed and when can we take it ourselves or do things for ourselves to really uh create a positive end result for ourselves so right yeah, yeah, even to, even when I was a nurse, I would, you know, you always want to start out with the least invasive and toxic therapy, yes. which is usually exercise and diet, something people don't want, right. but exercise and diet and lifestyle, yes. and then moving to, you know, the other therapies. And, and for instance, homeopathy doesn't negate using uh, supplements. It's an adjunct, it's a complement yes. to other natural therapies. Um, you know, I, I get a massage every week, have for almost 20 years. Every Wednesday, I get a massage, who, by the way, raises honeybees, and she does carry the apis with her all the time. Yeah, there you go. The honey. And um, so, and we have a product called Just In Case. Just In Case is full of snake venoms. So guess what? If you're a hiker yep. or chopping wood out in the woods or whatever, I always have it with me because I live on 19 acres and I love to live outside. I'm a farm girl from Wisconsin. So um, I like to be outside and people that are hiking and whatever, they should have something like that in their backpack. That's a good idea. Being, All right, being we, proactive. We have a bunch of products here. You want to talk about some yeah, stuff here? Claudia? So I brought a few and I, I wanted to, now the one that I wanted to really start with was the allergy formula, but we're out of it. We're selling through <laughs> it faster than we can get it in stock because a lot of people are being hit with whatever's going on in the air and the environment, they're being oh. impacted, even people that have never been symptomatic before. So I don't have the allergy formula to show, but it's a great formula. And I would encourage everybody to, you know, come on in and let us show it to you. Anything to say about the allergy formula? Yeah, we actually have a couple um, <clears throat> allergy formulas. The one you're probably talking about is the general allergy formula in the yes. kids line. And we're about to put that in the main line as well. Um, so that is all inclusive. So we also have allergy formulas for the fall pollens, which is called hay fever, for the spring, which is called um, pollen weed. We have dairy grain and nightshade, yes. dust mold, animal dander, yeah. uh, food um, additives. And there's remedies for all of those in the one just called allergies. Okay. Yes. So if you think you have multiple allergies, you might want to take that general allergy formula. If you specifically know it's a dairy grain nightshade allergy, then you may want to take the dairy grain nightshade. Right. Or dust mold animal dander, if that's what the issue is. Yes. So if okay. somebody knows what they're reactive to, then we can get very specific. If right. they don't, we do the general formulation for allergy type symptoms. Right. So that's, that's a great formula. And as I said, I was gonna I was gonna grab it yesterday and it's like and we order it we you know however whenever we order we get a lot of it. So um now we I did bring if you want to show the poison ivy, I did bring the one for poison ivy. Okay. Now these are all liquids. Correct? Yes, but we do have pellets as well on most of our uh, most of our line is available in pellets. Okay. Not everything and but most. So do you have, I'm just curious, because I've, over the years, I've done both pellets and liquid. I, I really, doesn't matter to me, but do you have a preference? I'm just curious. I, I prefer the liquids. I just, you know, but it's all about preference. Yes. The efficacy should be the same. Um, however, some people say only the pellets work for them. Some people say only right. the liquids work for them. 90% of our sales are liquids. Um, some people don't like the new Euro dropper. I love it because I can reach over for my eye sleep formula in the middle of the night. If I need it, I don't need to turn on the light. I just, you know, drop, drop, drop. Go set, yeah. I don't have to worry about putting the cap back on. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. So, um, 
Either way, they're, they're, it's a wonderful it's a wonderful approach for your health. So this is I brought the cough and airway because again, whatever's going on in the world around us, lots of people are coughing. They don't know what's brought it you know what has brought it on. We still have people dealing with post you know for the last three years they're dealing with post stuff. So this is a great formula, um, and also the fires that are going on. People are finding that very helpful, that formula in California, for instance, and the people that are have been impacted by the fires or were in Canada. I don't know if those fires are still going on, but, you know, oh, they are, are and they've impacted. been impacting us. I, I mean, our oh, air wow. quality uh, just a few days ago was was like horrible. It was like if you've got, you know, asthma, stay indoors. I right. mean, it, we've uh, been getting warning. So that this is okay. a serious one. Yeah, so that coffee away is a great, um, great yes. complex. It's it's one of our best sellers. I think it might be number three or four. And again, the beauty with learning how to heal ourselves is that no matter what the world throws at us, when we have the knowledge of natural health, now we know what tool we need to grab to support our own wellness. So it's a it's a beautiful thing all the way around. Next, I want to show this is a very popular one, nervousness and anxiety. A lot of people are dealing with yeah. nervousness and anxiety. And I'll tell you, you know what, Marge, I've been doing this 49 years. We've had a store for 33 years. We have so many young people being brought to us that are dealing with nervousness and anxiety. We have never seen anything like this before. Five-year-olds, eight-year-olds, 12-year-olds, 20-year-olds, they're dealing with, you know, stress and anxiety. And of course, the world is doing what it's doing, and it can cause a lot of stress for a lot of people. But we do a lot of education on the toxins from industry and petro and how they're estrogenic mimicking. And as they build up in the body, they can create these symptomatic issues. So we have a lot of young people on this formula, and we get some wonderful feedback on it. Yeah, it is. Um, it really skyrocketed in sales during the pandemic. Yes, because people were fearful and they were captive at home. Um, so we have a nervousness, uh, anxiety formula. We also have a stress tension formula. Yes, I, we also carry that. Remedies, I just didn't grab yeah, it. Some of the single remedies in it are the same. And sometimes people go like, "Well, I don't know which one is for me." And usually, if you just say back to them. Well, do you feel more nervous and anxious or are you more stressed out? And they'll go, oh, yeah, I'm whatever. They, right. they, I let them identify it because, yes, you know, they know and they can take it and they don't have to worry about getting a physical addiction to it. Yes. Um, the other thing I would mention that we feel everybody should be taking and is key to the clinical homeopathy approach is the detoxifier. You mentioned the toxins in the world. Yes. And I wrote an article a way a ways back. Um, I don't know if you know, in Chinese medicine, the organs are related to emotions. Yes. And the liver is anger. Yeah. And the kidney is fear. Mm -hmm. So what happens if you corner a dog and that dog is afraid, it's going to lash out. And, you know, one of my theories is everybody's angry about everything these days and about nothing. And is it maybe because people's liver and kidney are compromised mm -hmm. and you might want to look at a detoxifier such as ours and also what you put in your mouth, not eating at McDonald's every day, Clear, buying as much organic as you can. Yes. I, I know that, Ben. ben <laughs> um, you know, but it's a hard habit to break when you're used to it. So that's why I tell people just start with something, you know, you're going to, you know, there's certain foods that are really high in toxins. If you, and those will concentrate on buying those in organic, if you can't buy everything in organic. Yes. So when you take this, do you put it under your tongue or just in your mouth? Does it matter? It's we say on or under the tongue because it's absorbed right through the mucous membrane. All right. You guys um, keep but, talking. I'm going to take some. Okay. But, but, you know, if you have a fussy kid or whatever, you can put it in a liquid. Um, I have yet to get it in a cat's mouth. I always have to put it in the water. Now, my dogs, I can just pull their lip out and put it in. No big right. problem. So Wait a minute. This is of, for pets? I just took this. What no. the heck? <laughs> that tastes before good. Before it's over. 
<laughs> it actually tastes pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm it's more relaxed actually, now. It's preserved with so certified chill. organic, non-GMO um, uh, alcohol. But the alcohol is cane from cane sugar instead of grain. So it tastes yes. a lot better than we used to use grain maybe 10, 15 years ago. And it was really nasty. Uh, but the cane uh, alcohol is not that uh, to me, it's not bad at all. And if people are really have aversion to it, they can do the pellets, which are are alcohol free. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And they're easy to take. Let's talk for a moment. We were always taught uh, homeopathy should be taken, you know, away from food, 20 minutes, either side of food or drink that you can take water with it, but you shouldn't, you know take your drops and then drink coffee or whatever yeah. after it. So, we um, so we still, and you know, it's, I, I want to ask you, you know, years ago we were also taught that homeopathy should not be around peppermint, any of the mints. And I yeah, know that we don't comes buy into that. <laughs> you what? Say it again. We don't buy into that. Okay. Um, I just wanted to ask you because a, a lot of homeopaths still do. So yeah. I wanted to see where you, what you felt yeah, about we, that. We feel like the 15, 20 window, 20 minute window is, is sufficient. Now okay. there might be some people that are overly sensitive and it would uh, anecdote it, but from you know, I go a lot by Dr. Luke's experience and Dr. Luke treated thousands of patients in Europe before he moved to the United States and developed the clinical homeopathy approach that we use today. And he found in his 50 plus years practice that that wasn't an issue. And I always tell people there's the ideal and the practical. The ideal is you do want to take it directly in the mouth and wait and let the and not take another homeopathic, not because they're going to interact, but because we want the body to deal with the first thing. Right. And then mm -hmm. before you take another. So the ideal and the practical, you know, you want to get it in your mouth. So, you know, if you have to put two complexes in at a time to do it, everybody's got a crazy lifestyle, it seems. Um, so, you know, that's OK. It's not the ideal, but it's the practical for you. Yes. So I see you brought this nervousness fear. So I brought how different is that? Well, these are this is the pet line. So I wanted to oh, these I are the wanted pet to line. show the pet line. Glad I didn't open this. Because well, they're all human grade anyway, it doesn't yes. matter. So um, but show this one because this is nervousness and fear. And of course I've got two cats that could use this right now. With the with the fireworks through the fourth yes. of July during the summer with storms and lightning and thunder a lot of animals get very very upset during these times yeah <clears throat> so this is a great product and for our cats you only Excuse need me. like two drops and can you get it in your cat's mouth i've never been able to get it in a cat's mouth you know, I I, it's a challenge i put it in the water, water I, that's what i do dogs yeah. are easier to <laughs> yeah. stuff in yeah. them but cats we all know they're a little finicky but yeah so. that would be the thing for fear and i would give it you know a couple doses if you know that the fireworks are going to happen or you yes. know what's going to go or they know that they're going to go to the vet you put them you know give them a couple doses beforehand and then as they as you identify they need it you know you got to kind of be tuned in to yourself and your animals right when you do so when, when you say a couple doses so we always tell people there's you know you do one dose at a time you can do these remedies as often as you need them. Right. So when you say two doses, does are you is there a timeline to that, or you're just saying if you're going to take your animal to the vet, you need to do it what a couple hours before and then right before? Any it's thoughts very, on that? Yeah, it's very subjective. Right. Um, oftentimes, when people are starting something, I will tell them to take a dose every 15 minutes for four times. Okay. And then taper off as you need it. So, um, for instance, motion sickness, you're, you're going on a cruise or whatever. I would take a dose every 15 minutes for four times and then see how you're doing on the cruise. But I would, you know, probably take it every couple hours or however, because you want to take it before you throw up. Right. Right. <laughs> so, right. you know, you, you don't necessarily want the, yourself or the animal to be anxious or fearful or nauseated or whatever. So, you, you know, you want to, the idea is you take it, your body uses it, you take it, your body uses it again, right. it's your body doing the work, not the homeopathy. It's your right. body doing the work, your body doing the healing, your body yes. coming to balance or homeostasis. 
And I just want to talk with my hands. I get, <laughs> well, I do too. So, it, <laughs> so I just want to reiterate, there's no toxic level to homeopathy. We've never, in all these years, we've never seen anyone have an adverse, weird reaction ever. I mean, and we can't, you know, you can't always say that about every single yeah. thing. And, but, and um, you know, there are instances where they have said that, but oftentimes, you know, like sometimes we'll get somebody, they'll say, well, I took it in and burned my tongue. Well, then you ask further questions. Yeah, they just had red hot pe peppers, you know. Right. Like, we have to know the right questions. With spices. Yes. And then yeah. you put something with a little bit of alcohol and they go like, oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think right. that. Right. So, you know, and sometimes we get, you know, things that are kind of out there. But no known, uh, no known side effects. And no, no contraindication yeah. with meds. This is a biggie. I, mm -hmm. We just talked about it, but I want to reiterate it because this is a yeah. big, big deal. I mean, you know, it's not uncommon anymore for, for those of us in health food stores. We're dealing with people coming in on 12, 15, 18 meds. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's very sad for the person that are being told to take all those meds. And yeah. when they come in for help, there's not much we can do. Homeopathy is definitely something we can. Okay, so this is the last, last one. The last one I brought. Skin care for pets. Skin oh, care yeah. for pets. Uh -huh. This is a wonderful formula. Uh, we use it when any kind of skin inflammation or hot animals spots. are licking their paws or whatever it might be. Yeah, yeah. hot spots with the dog. Hot spots. Yep. Yeah, and it's. I, it's also important, obviously, as I know you know, because you work in a health food store, is um, the bowel when you're dealing with the skin. I yes. always tell people it's like poop coming through the skin because right. your regular organs of elimination aren't up to par. Right. <laughs> so the detoxifier is looking at me like, what does that even mean? So it sounded like you said poop coming well, through the skin. Because, well, is that know, what you to, said? That's to get but, people's attention, Danny. Exactly. You got well, you your got my, attention. Well, you got my attention when you said uh, <laughs> Padupi. You said Padupi <laughs> earlier. You had me. <laughs> so, but it's um, true. The skin is a reflection of the toxins in the body. Yeah. So I say that if somebody has skin issues, they should be taking the detoxifier. They should take the bowel digestive care, perhaps a probiotic, um, you know, and of course, diet and cutting down on sugar, the right. biggest culprit. Uh, to people's immune system and, and health. So yes. it's not just homeopathy. A lot of it is diet. You know, Dr. Luke, the founder of the company who healed himself with tuberculosis, he credits organic eating almost as much as he did the homeopathy um, because he realized what that did to your body and the toxins. Not a morsel touched his lips that was not organic. Yeah. He had his own garden when we went on a, to a trade show or whatever we would go to the health food store in the town. When he went on a cruise, he took his food with him. Okay. So that was a wise man. Yeah. That's the principles that he built this company on. And I, so let's to... talk about him for a moment. Cause he started the company in what? 1987, 1987, 1987, but he came from, where did he come from? He came from Belgium. And he came over here first with as the American president of branch of UNDA, which is another homeopathic manufacturing company. And then when UNDA and he parted ways and he became a citizen in 1987, he started the company. And um, nobody knew about homeopathy back in 1987 or very few people. So right. that's why education was always a key component because he'd have to teach what homeopathy is it was that it existed and and all that and and you know he started out in an apartment room he moved on up to the basement of a house uh then moved on up to a 7500 square foot building um he got into his 80s in 2004 and he was on my board of directors my husband and i had a nonprofit that promoted all of natural health care and he was on our board of directors and so when he got into his 80s, he asked if I would take over his company. So I retired a little bit early, if you can call after 30 years of nursing early. Um, I retired a little bit early and took over the company in 2004. 
And then he passed in 2008 and he had bequeathed me the company. So I've been running. Isn't that beautiful? That is awesome. That is really, that's a great story. That is. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. He, he was an amazing man. And like I said, he really walked the talk. Um, well, isn't well, yeah, it- anybody who takes their own food on a cruise, it's like the cruise ship people are going, we love you. Wish more people <laughs> do that. We save some money. Those midnight yeah. buffets. Are you kidding me? Mark and Roberts, our guest. amazing organic garden. And of course, yeah. he was involved in the Georgia Organic Gardening uh, group here in Georgia. And, you know, he wrote the first book in Dutch on organic gardening while he still lived in Belgium and had oh, a wow. radio program on uh, organic uh, yeah. gardening in uh, That's Belgium. That's nice. Well, well, Marge Roberts, president and CEO of uh, Newton Laboratories. We appreciate you going on. Like I said, I learned so much, Claudia. Well, just one last thing. I know, I know you keep, stay you're always time. keeping us on a timeline, but I, Marge, I, I love the fact that uh, Rockefeller Sr. went to a homeopath his entire life. That's in the book, The Titan. And I always encourage everybody to read that book because even though the person that started the whole business of research and whatever he did, he went to a homeopath his entire life. And I, I really, I love that. So, you know, yeah, for the a people, lot of that are, people that have used homeopathy. Yes. And yeah. uh, so well, anyway, thank you, Marge, so much. You're a thank sweetheart. You. We appreciate you being with us today. And thank you for having a great company, carrying it, you know, carrying it on. Uh, to Dr. Luke's, you know, to his vision and his heart and soul. So thank you so much. You're and uh, we hope you come on again because there's a lot more to talk about homeopathy. But uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you thank so you. much. Yep. Anytime. Just let me know when. I will. We All will. Right. Take care. Many blessings. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow. You know, it, it, what amazes me since we started this journey back in October, it, it's just there's so many layers. Yes. And it's like, it just keeps getting better. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I uh, had a couple of these drops, what, 10 minutes ago or so. And I'm not making this up. I already feel more relaxed and chilled. Right. And so this is staying with me. That's staying with you. And the poison ivy staying with me because my <laughs> wife, she gets the poison ivy. And when she it gets goes, it, it's bad. It goes from my pile, pile to Denny's pile. To Denny's pile. And I'm going to try the nervousness fear for the cats. See if, Perfect. So we'll go with that. Perfect. So that was awesome. What, what a great, just a, a great podcast. And I hope everybody watching, uh, there's a bunch of you watching. Please share this. Let everybody know that every Tuesday at 1230 that we're going to be on. And uh, we're going to be publishing, I think, fairly soon, like a list of some of the guests and some of the topics. Yes. So you guys can get excited about it. Always ask your questions in the comments. Uh, do we know what we're doing next Tuesday? Well, next Tuesday, I thought you and I would talk about uh, the interesting things happening to our food supply. Okay. Because a lot of people are very upset about this fake meat thing going on. I don't like that at all. And there's a concerned. huge push, a huge push yeah. on all this. And it's a very altered. Sad uh, I, I don't trust it at all. I don't care how they try to mask it. It's just, yeah. So we'll, that'll be a fiery one. We'll yeah, have some fun well, with that next week. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, so please share this, uh, on Friday, our old time, I'll put it in podcast. So it's an, just an audio form so for some people. It's easier to listen that way because they can put it on in the car and they don't have to watch us. Cause right. you know, if, if you get a chance to watch us, you're going to be watching us. We know. I- uh, and you can listen to us. It's easy to we're share. fun to watch. People tell me. Why. I don't know. Every time I walk into your store, hey, you're the guy. <laughs> you're the guy with Claudia. Your customers. It's very funny. Oh, anyway, Lord. Claudia, like always, I am going to give you the last word. Oh, thank you. So, you know, here's the beauty of natural health. There's so much available to the American public for them to learn about to actually utilize in their life, to reclaim their health. It, everyone's been taught this medical, pharmaceutical, surgery, surgery, aggressive treatment way of thinking. And we're teaching people, look, there's a lot of beautiful options out here and they've all been around for thousands of years in regard to homeopathy. Homeopathy started back in the what, late 1700s, I believe. Uh, so, but they've been around a long time. And 
Keep learning, everybody. Knowledge is power. This is when people come in our store after listening to the podcast and they say, man, I never knew that that product was available. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for you know sharing this info. That's the point. We're sharing this wonderful information to help our country get on the side of health and wellness and get out of the disease of being sick. Because always pushing disease on people is a sickness, in my opinion, all its own. So remember, we have the ability to be well. Always give your immune system a chance. It's there for a reason. And all these beautiful tools are available to everybody. So thank you for the opportunity of allowing us to share all this with you. Denny, I love you. I'm so glad we're doing this together. Me too. And uh, keep the faith, everybody. And just keep sharing your love, sharing your light, because there's a lot of love and light in this in this world and in the, our country. We see it every day at our store. We see it out and about. So just focus on the positive. Focus on wellness. It can change so much in our country. So from Denny and I, thank you so much. Blessings to everybody and peace. <laughs>